Throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Welcome to Made Easy. After seeing about electrophysiology of the heart and normal components of ECG, let's see about cardiac action potential, axonode potential and ventricular muscle potential. Axonode action potential. Here is the diagram of axonode action potential. It is also known as slow action potential. Three types of tunnels are involved: slow sodium tunnels for free potential. fast calcium channels for depolarization and potassium channels for repolarization normal resting tunnel potential of s node is minus 55 millivolt fast sodium channels are blocked if potential is more negative than minus 55 millivolt due to leakiness of the sodium channel there is continuous influx of sodium ions and potential tends to rise why sinus nodal fibers are not continuously depolarized because of two factors Sodium calcium channels are inactivated after 100 to 150 milliseconds and greatly increase number of opened potassium channels. Let's see about ventricular muscle action potential. Here is a diagram. It is also known as fast action potential. Resting tunnel potential of ventricular muscle is minus 90 millivolt. Four channels are involved: fast sodium channels, slow calcium channels. potassium channels and chloride channels sodium channels potassium and chloride channels calcium and potassium channels and potassium channels four phases of action potential phase 0 known as rapid depolarization here is phase 0 partial repolarization phase 1 play to phase phase 2 complete repolarization phase 3 and resting membrane potential resting stage phase 4 Let's see about vectoral analysis. Two diagrams are given here for vectoral analysis. Events of cardiac conduction, atrial depolarization. It occurs from S N node to A V node, and its direction is downwards and leftwards. It is also known as P axis. Septal depolarization. it occurs from left side to right side slightly downwards septal depolarization occurs from left bundle branch therefore it is from left side to right side ventricular depolarization it occurs from above downwards and from endocardium to epicardium due to very muscular left side of the ventricle it is slightly deviated to the left side and in late phase of the ventricular depolarization it is left side basal depolarization it is upward due to last depolarization phase now let's see about ecg and action potential relationship it is given here in the diagram rapid upstroke in action potential correlates with onset of qrs complex in ecg here you can see in this diagram play to phase in action potential correlates with isoelectric st segment you can see here in this diagram active repolarization of action potential correlates with t wave in ecg you can see here in this diagram